It's been 50 years since NASA's historic Apollo 11 mission, where after four days of travel, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin stepped out of the lunar module onto the moon's sea of tranquility, becoming the first humans to set foot on the lunar surface. Being visible from Earth with the naked eye, the Moon is a source of great intrigue and fascination. It is approximately 384,400 kilometers from Earth and around a quarter of the size. The Moon is Earth's only natural satellite, taking just over 27 days to complete an orbit. But how have we managed to learn so much about it? For thousands of years, Human beings have been looking at the moon as an object moving in the sky and they've been looking at its motions, they've been looking at its changing phases to make sense of their place in the universe. It wasn't until the 1600s when the first telescope was invented that it really sort of opened up the door to the rest of the night sky and space in general. Up until that point, humans didn't know that there were any more planets than up to Saturn and we still weren't really sure on the motion of the planets. It was thanks to people like Galileo who studied the moons of Jupiter. Galileo also looked at our moon for the first time with a telescope and he discovered the craters and the mountains on the moon that it actually had these different sort of textures. And he discovered that the moon was orbiting around the Earth because he made notes of the different phases. Through magnification, they realized that the moon was not just a perfect, unblemished circle, but in fact, it was a world. And if the moon was a world, and it had geological features, then perhaps the Earth was itself a cosmological object. So the moon changed our understanding of our place in the universe. The Royal Observatory has had a presence here in Greenwich, London for nearly 350 years, with the initial aim of providing clearer navigational support for sea travel. Since 1884, it was recognized by the world as the prime meridian, zero degrees longitude, the dividing line between the eastern and western hemispheres and the home of Greenwich Mean Time. Through its telescopes, the vast expanse of space has been explored and studied. So how has the work carried out here and at similar sites helped shape our understanding of space? Here at the observatory we've made several discoveries including a moon of Jupiter called Pasiphae which was discovered in 1908. In the 50 years since the 1969 Apollo 11 landings, we've learned so much. Those missions absolutely revolutionized lunar and planetary science. The astronauts brought back 382 kilos of moon rock and soil, which are still being studied here on Earth. As we've been improving technology and instruments have become better, we're able to extract new data from these samples all the time. Thanks to the rocks that were brought back by the Apollo program, we now think that when a planet the size of Mars entered in collision with the Earth some 4.5 billion years ago, from the debris created by this collision, the Moon was formed. Its consistent sunlight reflecting presence in our skies makes it a source of endless discussion. But is the Moon really that significant? Does it have any impact on our life on Earth? The Moon has influenced human activities in so many ways. People have been looking up to the Moon and realizing that it has a recurring pattern. For this, they've been using the Moon to mark time. So some cultures would have a purely lunar calendar. We have some cultures which use a lunisolar calendar, so both inspired by the Moon's motions and phases and by the movement of the Earth around the Sun. The Moon also has got significant influence for navigation in as much as it has got an influence on the tides. It's influenced writing, certainly it's influenced poets, playwrights. And then perhaps more fascinating of all for me, the Moon has inspired painters. Some of the greatest works of art around the world have been inspired by moonlight and have been trying to capture the uh, ethereal qualities of moonlight. So 50 years on from man first setting foot on the lunar landscape, our understanding of the Moon and wider space has increased massively. Telescopes such as this one have been pivotal 
in unlocking some of space's greatest secrets, as well as offering fascinating insights into understanding what lies beyond Earth's atmosphere. The Moon has not just provided a focus for curious minds, however, it is clear that our nearest celestial neighbor has had a significant impact in a cultural context, as will the physical effects we experience here on Earth. We have a number of lunar missions which are planned, both robotic missions and crewed missions, so we are still thinking about bringing uh, humans back onto the moon's surface and discovering different uh, elements on the moon, discovering different minerals, might be holding the keys to more secrets. As human exploration is the next step for the moon, the next step for observational astronomy, so using telescopes, is looking much further afield and actually expand the observable universe as we know it, so we can see further afield and further back in time. I think also one of the things that we learned from the Apollo Space Programme was to look at the Earth in different ways. And I wonder whether in 2019, as we are grappling with the consequences of the climate crisis, thinking again about going to the moon might make us again look back on ourselves. So as explorations and observations of space continue, and with technological innovations, enabling a greater understanding of what lies beyond our planet's atmosphere, we will have to keep watch to see what part the moon will play in our lives on Earth in the next 50 years.